And there's the prayer prior to the opening kickoff on the part of the Notre Dame players and their coach, Era Parsegian. Each team with a victory. Notre Dame, a victory over Oklahoma. Purdue beating Virginia. The Goodyear blimp, we welcome that fine aerial uh, artistry. The part of Goodyear here to South Bend, Indiana, is our live ABC color cameras there showing you this shot of Notre Dame Stadium. And so it will be. The Boilermakers of Purdue, from right to left, kicking to Notre Dame. Bob Gladjo is back, one of the men back, number 20. And Dennis Allen, and the kick is up in the air. It's good and deep, and this is Gladjo at the 5 for Notre Dame, coming out to the 10, the 15, the 20. Stepping his way, hightailing it up to about the 28-yard line. Seymour, number 85 to the far side. Gladjo in motion, number 5, the quarterback, Henratty. A beautiful run by the fullback. Jeff Zimmerman in the slot is Denny Allen, number 22. And high stepping it through is a fine running quarterback, Terry Hanratty. Denny Allen, rather, Seymour to the near side from the 45. Gladio. And Notre Dame looking awesome in this very first series of downs. With about 14 minutes remaining, John O'Reilly comes in to make the tackle for the Purdue Boilermaker defense. And we have a Boilermaker shaken up on the play. It is number 45, Richard Mayhurt, as you look at the offensive team of Notre Dame. Seymour, opposite, split in. Denny Allen carried the ball. For Denny Allen is opposite, third and three. Nice draw play, going for the first down. They are close, but the Purdue defense come together on Jeff Zimmerman. Jim Ariera, number 81, is back to punt. Back for Purdue is Tim Foley, number 43. It's off the side of the foot. A very bad punt on the part of Notre Dame's punter. And it is dead. Notre Dame ran five plays here in South Bend. On the sixth play, Jim Arietta punted 24 yards, and now Purdue's offensive team has the ball for the first time in a scoreless ball game. You look at the lineup, and Mike Phipps is 15, the quarterback. Jim Kirkpatrick, 25. Leroy Keyes, 23. Perry Williams, 47. Cooper is the split into the near side, and the ball goes to Keyes. Keyes cuts up field, steps over, and gets about six yards on the play. Keyes this time is a tailback. Second down and four, and here is Keyes. Beautiful pursuit by the Notre Dame defense. There is Keepert. And a raffles one. The number 46, Randy Cooper. Cooper. Back live, Leroy Keys to this side. Whoops, a loose ball, but recovered by, it appeared it was Perry Williams. In the backfield is a problem. It is complete to Kirkpatrick as Keepert is more than filling in for injured Mike Phipps. But here we have a look at Phipps over on the sidelines, and it would appear from that that it's probably a chest injury of some sort. Here is Keeper now looking down and throwing behind. It is a second down and 10 following an incompletion. Bob Dillingham to the near side. Keeper wants to throw. Throws out in the flat over the head of Leroy Keyes. Bob Dillingham, number 82, to the near side. Keeper getting good protection. Drills one and finds his mark. Leroy Keyes. Far side. Dillingham to the near side. First and 10 at the 24. Keeper giving to Williams the fullback as he pulls his way inside the 20. Star quarterback. Phipps was hurt. Keeper pitches out to Leroy Keyes. And Keyes will be drawing that type of a crowd. Oh, Don Keeper, the reserve quarterback on a third and three. Leroy Keyes on a half pass. Oxen pass. It's in there. Beautiful defensive work. 34-yard field goal tried by Jeff Jones of Purdue. It is up. It is good. And Purdue takes a 3 to nothing lead on a 34-yard field goal by Jeff Jones. And this year, he is 2 for 2. ABC and the NCAA combined to bring you all the thrills of college football with timeout. The score is Purdue 3, Notre Dame nothing. 8.28 remaining in the first quarter. Purdue leads 3 to nothing. Jones moves to the ball. It's high. It's uh, short of Allen and Gladjo. It is taken by number 38 of Notre Dame, Ron Dishnay. Jim Weingarten, the tight end. And here's that pass that Bud was talking about. And it is Jim Seymour on a beauty. 
and knocked out of bounds. And so they keep it on the ground. Great team in the backfield. Seymour split to the left. Here's Glad Joe. Jimmer, Jeff Zimmerman blocking beautifully for his teammate, Seymour, also on this side. What a formation that is. And there's Allen. Two-yard loss, second and 12 for Notre Dame at the Purdue 30. Hanratty, Seymour going out. There he is, thrown behind him. Look at the average, 234, 239. Jim Weingartner now, the tight end, the split to the far side with Allen in the slot. Seymour, and Hanratty is being chased, and he throws it. And guess who's there to catch it? All right, here's a field goal now by Scott Hempel. And a fake field goal. And the ball. Well, it was a bad pass from center. Now Purdue will try with Kiepert, the reserve quarterback. Mike Phipps is still on the bench from the 35. The Roy Keys on an option, throwing. And that was Bob Dillingham as Keys goes to the far side. And two men go with him. So Don Keeper gives to his halfback, Jim Kirkpatrick. He's a tailback this time. All right, Keyes trying to get that first down and is hit hard to the Notre Dame defenses. Dick Bird now kicks it end over end. Bob Gladjo calls for a fair catch at his own 27-yard line. From the 27, Terry Hanratty has Seymour to the far side, Gladjo opposite. Allen finds a big hole. And Denny Allen is at a first and 10 at their own 38. Allen goes to the far side, Seymour opposite. And Jeff Zimmerman. Now it's a second down and nine at the 39 of Notre Dame. Slot formation, far side. Zimmerman finds that hole. Performance thus far this year. First and 10 from the 49. And now with Notre Dame establishing its second down and one at the Purdue 42-yard line. Tim Monty over the ball, Hanratty. And he calls on Mr. Zimmerman, who gets more than enough for a Notre Dame first down. Purdue leads three to nothing. Three minutes, 13 left in the first quarter. And Hanratty blocking. Believe me, it's great to be a ball carrier. Second down and six, and there's Zimmerman. Gladjo is in the slot. Seymour to the near side. Weingartner, the tight end, is opposite. Here's Seymour going deep. And on the short pass, it was to Gladjo, the slot man. Seymour to the far side. Hanratty, that's Gladjo, going to the deep spot in the power eye formation. Gladjo gets the first down and more. Nearly an official. Gladjo in the slot. That's Allen in motion. A new formation. And Zimmerman is bear hugged. Brothermaker's leading with a minute to go in the first quarter, three to nothing. Seymour is to the left. Straight T in the backfield, Gladjo on a sweep. And Gladjo is upended at about the seven yard line. Purdue with the ball. 15 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Third down, and Purdue's defense comes in on Bob Gladjo again. So at the end of the first quarter, here in South Bend, the score is Purdue three, Notre Dame, nothing. Scott Hempel tried a 35-yarder earlier, and this one is coming from the 17 plus 10 in the end zone. It is no good. A 27-yard attempt by Scott Hempel of Notre Dame is no good. Here is Phipps giving to Kirkpatrick. Good second effort. Second and four. Key. And Keyes is really being defense. Mike Phipps, number 15, sends Randy Cooper to the far side. Keyes to the near side. Third down and four. And there goes Curry Williams trying for the first down. It doesn't appear that he made it. Going back for Notre Dame is Joe Theismann. And a rush on the kicker. A very short kick on Notre Dame. Will get that ball at the Purdue 37. From the 38, Terry Hanratty. A power eye slot formation to the far side. And that is Dennis Allen, flanker back. And ready, pitching out to Jeff Zimmerman, who gets blockers. Boy, did he make some move. And Gladjo falls forward for the first down. 
The ball is at the Purdue 26 first down, number eight for Notre Dame. Purdue leads three to nothing. Nice fake by Henratty. Good blocking. He throws deep. And second and ten. Denny Allen to the near side. Seymour to the far side. On the option. Henratty. Seymour is still in. He's going to the far side of the field. He's out on a pass pattern now. Henratty looks opposite. And there's Weingartner, the tight end, number 96. And now only nine yards away from a touchdown. Seymour on the far side. Zimmerman bounces off Chuck Kyle. Gladio. Leroy Keys. Weingartner is the tight end. Third down. Henratty pitching out, and Notre Dame is in Pater. Denny Allen, number 22, a sophomore, gets his touchdown. Era Parsegian, he is six for six thus far this year from last week's game. It's up and good. 9.37 of the second quarter. College football observing its 100th year with timeout. The score is Notre Dame 7, Purdue 3. Following their touchdown, Jim Kirkpatrick is deep. He runs, kicks back very well at the 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And boy, did he run into a wall of Mike Phipps is in a quarterback. The right keys to the near side, double coverage. And the pass is completed. Here's Purdue now with a first and 10 from their own 37. Mike Phipps finds another receiver. Staying away from Keys, and it's Bob Dillingham. Between the defensive halfback and the safety man. And now back live as Purdue had picked up a first down. All right, Keys getting double coverage again as Mike Phipps looks down the middle. And Dillingham now has caught three in a row. Here's Kirkpatrick. Caught from behind. Keys to the near side. Second and nine from the Notre Dame 36. Purdue trailing seven to three. Here is Phipps. And intended for Dillingham. Double cover. Keys on a third and nine. But there's Keys with the ball. And look at that. <laughs> what? What pursuit? We'll be seeing both these teams again on our live telecast. Here's Phipps. And Phipps is to the 18-yard line, a seven-yard gain with six minutes remaining in the first half. Notre Dame, or Notre Dame's defense now going against Purdue, second and three. That was the fullback, Perry Allen, trying to Dillingham and Griffin are to the far side, the ends. And here is Keyes going for the first down. Look at that move. There he goes. Beautiful play by an All-American Leroy Keyes. And let me tell you, that's one of the great runs I've ever seen. Some move, believe me. 16 yards as Clanton King threw a block for Leroy Keyes and Purdue leads 9 7. Chase, but they didn't have the speed. Now Jeff Jones adds another point for the Purdue cause. And here at Notre Dame Stadium, it's timeout in South Bend, Indiana, where the score is Purdue 10, Notre Dame 7. If he's had any daylight at all, but just give him a little bit, and it's all the way. Jeff Zimmerman and Gladio are back along with Denny Allen. Here is Allen, a good runner. He scored the Notre Dame touchdown, you'll recall. And he fights his way across his own 25. Weingartner, the tight end to the near side. In the slot, it is Gladio. Beautiful fake by Hanratty. And guess who he found? Seymour. As I mentioned earlier, it's very difficult for the double coverage to hold up. Cross-bucking. Bob Gladjo, second down and seven now for Notre Dame at the 49. Hanratty, and a loft one. Hanratty is five for eight, now with the third down and seven from his own 49. And it's tipped and intercepted by Purdue. It is Bob Unaska who took the tip ball, and the Boilermakers are inside the Notre Dame 30. Purdue leads 10 to seven, four minutes left in the first half. And it's completed to Kirkpatrick. And a good arm tackle. 325 left in the first half. 
Getting the first down is fullback and co-captain Perry Williams. Now the ball is at the 17 of Notre Dame. First down, Purdue. Bob Dillingham to the far side. Here's uh, Dillingham. The pass being thrown by Keyes. It is a touchdown, Purdue. Leroy Keyes has just thrown a bomb to Bob Dillingham, and Purdue is leading 16 to 7. Mr. Everything, Leroy Keyes to the end, Bob Dillingham. Phipps holding. It's up. It's good. 2.57 remaining in the first half. And a tip pass and an interception by Bob Yonaska for Purdue as then Mike Phipps, 30 yards, three plays, a 17-yard pass from Leroy Keyes to Bob Dillingham. Spirited Fighting Irish Band. Jeff Jones kicking. Ron Dushnay. Allen now comes over as the flanker back to the near side with Seymour opposite. Good fake. And it was a flat pass to Gladio, number 20. Second and five. Gladio. Beautiful move. Loose ball and Purdue recovers. Purdue has recovered a fumble by Bob Gladio. His hands, he was hit before he was able to get the ball over into the left arm. From the 41, Mike Phipps throws long to Dillingham. He is down at the Notre Dame 17. Dillingham has caught five for 75 yards. Purdue with a first and 10 at the 16. Mike Phipps, six of seven in the air. And it is complete to Dillingham. Mike Phipps had the boom lord on him. And he is down on the field as Dillingham caught that ball on a beautiful pass. Leads 23 to 7. Jeff Jones with the flags going down. Hold. And now for the point after. And uh, the Don Keepert, who was holding the reserve quarterback, team that last week scored 45 points against tough Oklahoma. As Jeff Jones kicked now, goes deep. It is Denny Allen carrying the ball to the 10, the 15, the 20, 25. Look at that fine effort. Appears this time that it's going to be a four man rush with seven men covered. Draw to Allen in diagnosing the play. That's Allen in motion. Good protection. And Jim Seymour playing him loose to keep him from going all the way. Now from the 44, a near interception by number 44 of Purdue, John O'Reilly, and did Gladjo. Then catch it. He did. Bit to the left, and right now it appears like it's all the way for O'Reilly, rather, not Foley. Mistake. And look at the recovery by Gladio. Those are the kind of reflexes that make superior athletes. And now with the ball at the Purdue 45, Tom Eaton is in the lineup, split to the near side of the field. Hanratty looks for one of the two. There is Seymour. And Hanratty had the rush put on. Number 89 is to the near side on a second and 10 from the Purdue 45. And what a catch by Tom Eaton. And as Notre Dame has a first and 10 at the Purdue 30 with 36 seconds remaining in the first half. Gladjo to the far side, along with Seymour. And Hanratty has time. It is intended for. Tom Eaton, Seymour to the far side. Eaton to the near side with Gladjo in motion. Seymour is out there, hooking back, and nearly intercepted. And he has thrown 17 yards for a touchdown in the first half. Seymour getting double coverage now. Hanratty throws it into the flat to Gladjo. And at the shoe tops, Gladjo and Seymour to the far side. Eaton is to the opposite on fourth and ten. And Hanratty and Leroy Keyes knocks him out of bounds. Ten seconds left between the 13 and 14 as Seymour and Eaton are to the near side. And Hanratty throws a bullet and it's a beauty. Jim Seymour is hugging Tom Eaton, the sophomore of Notre Dame. And that is the first varsity touchdown pass caught by Tom Eaton of Lancaster, Ohio. In 10 plays. Scott Hempel 
Next to score 23 to 14. Now only nine points separating these two powers. Onside try by Notre Dame and it failed to go 10 yards. And that gives Purdue good field position. First and 10 from the 48. That was intended for tight end Marion Griffin. And time has expired in an exciting first half here in northern Indiana. My colleague, Mr. Bud Wilkinson. And here's the second half kick. Lambert kicking off. Kirkpatrick is at the 5 to 10 to 15. Moving outside to the 20. And then surrounded by a pack of Notre Dame players. Bottle Coca-Cola. Things go better with Coke. Mike Phipps passing for Purdue. It is complete to the man who has caught two touchdowns. The right keys now to the near side from the 39. Mike Phipps wanting to go to the air again. And he finds Bob Dillingham again. Nine completions out of 11 attempts for Phipps. From the 49. That was Kirkpatrick. Cooper is in at end on the far side of the field. Here is Phipps still staying in the air. He is passing deep. It was Randy Cooper who third and 10 now. There's Mike Phipps. And he's on 49 being rushed. He completes it to Bob Dillingham. The right keys to the near side from the 39 of Notre Dame. There's one to Keys. He was covered on the play. Heisman Trophy candidate now goes to the far side. The right keys on the second and ten. Interception. Pass intended for Dillingham. A beautiful defensive play by Notre Dame's Bob Neidert. Seymour to the near side of the field from the 29. Hanratty, a running play. Jeff Zimmerman. Second and four, Notre Dame. And that was Bob Gladjo. Third and one. Going for the first down is Gladjo from the 40th Notre Dame first down. Nice fake by Hanratty. Seymour all alone. And Seymour out of bounds. And now from the Purdue 40, first down Notre Dame. And the tight end, Jim Weingartner. Allen to the far side. Beautiful blocking for Bob Gledjo. From the 16, first down. Notre Dame threatening. That was Denny Allen. No gain on the play at the 16 of Purdue. Seymour and Gladio set away from the line. Here's Hanratty. Way deep. Gladio. Incomplete. So here on a third and ten from the Purdue 16. Awesome Notre Dame. Receivers all over the field. And the pressure, but Hanratty gets it off, and Gladio couldn't hook it in. On an angle now. 32 yards, including the 10 yards of the end zone. Scott's kick is up, and it is no good. So it's timeout here at Notre Dame Stadium from the 20. And there's Kirkpatrick picking up Dillingham to the near side, keys to the far side, second and five. And busting through is the fullback. He gets the first down for the Boilermakers. He's through another to Dillingham. He's to the far side. And the sweep. And there's Kirkpatrick. And Purdue gets its ground game going now. Now Dillingham is in tight. And it's Perry Williams going outside. Second and seven from the 26 for Purdue. The right keys to the near side. Down the middle to Dillingham. Bob Dillingham. Our eye formation on the part of Purdue. The ends are in tight. And the quarterback, Mike Phipps, getting the first down. Our eye with a split end. And Leroy Keyes. <laughs> slot formation. Phipps. Patrick at about the 11 yard line. And Leroy Keyes was barreling for the first down. Purdue going for it inside the Notre Dame 10. A big play psychologically in whatever way you want to look at it. And Phipps charged forward and 
It appeared that he had forward progress. Now the measurement. And Notre Dame has held. They're deep in their own territory now at the seven with a first and ten. There is Seymour cutting back in. Beautiful play. The field laterally picked up great yardage. 23 yards, first down, Henry looking for Weingartner and finds him for another 10 or 11 yard get. First down from the 41. A draw, beautiful. And 6.13 left in the third quarter. Out goes Seymour, out goes Weingartner. And that was Mr. Weingartner who third down in less than a yard at the Purdue 49. Notre Dame with the ball. And ready, giving to Gladjo. Gonna go for it. And that gives them a little more beef up front. Oh, I guess so. Only one man in the backfield, and that is Zimmerman. And Zimmerman fell through a tiny hole. First and ten at the Purdue 48. Hanratty number five. There's the exchange. Good faking and, and Jim Seymour. Hanratty has hit Seymour seven of ten times today. Zimmerman and Allen in the I formation. Good faking again. And it goes to the tight end, Jim Weingardner. They're at the Purdue 22, 24 first downs for the Irish. Denny Allen, second and 10 now at the 22. Allen is flanked to the left, Seymour to the right. And there was a heads up play by the boy born in Athens, third down and 14 for Notre Dame at the Purdue 26. Henretti, that's Allen in motion. Seymour is going out. And it's incomplete, intended for Weingartner. Defense is Allen now on fourth and 14. They are going for it. On, Very confident go. team. And Hamrady is brought down, and it backfires. They have the ball first and 10 at their own 37. Here's Leroy Keyes, finds a hole, goes outside, tries to pull away, is up, and number 11, Don Reed, of he almost made the play to the outside, but Reed was able to hang on. Purdue uh, staying on the ground. On a Stan Brown now to the near side. Brown is going out. Trying for a one-hand catch. Brown to the near side. Randy Cooper is in for Purdue on a second and ten as Phipps throws in the flat to Perry Williams, the fullback, and Perry moves his way. Look at that power. The co-captain of Purdue at the 29 first down Purdue. Stan Brown to the near side. Phipps looking. Phipps running. And Phipps runs into his own man. Second and seven now. Stan Brown still in the lineup. And the fullback got nowhere. Perry Williams. Oh, seconds remaining third quarter. Keys is to the far side along with Marion Griffin. Gillingham is opposite. There's Keys inside the 20. At the end of the third quarter here at Notre Dame Stadium in Northern Indiana, the score is Purdue 23, Notre Dame 14. Bud and I suggest you get comfortable for this fourth and final quarter. Purdue first and 10 at the Notre Dame 17. There's Keyes, and Keyes is gone. What a football player. He has thrown for one, he has raced for two. 16 yards on his first touchdown run and 17 on this honey. He had been breaking it to the outside on every occasion, Chris. That time as he turned up field, he gave it that little head fake to the outside and then zipped right down the middle for six. Running, Chris. He, he looks almost like he could have a glass of water on his head and not spill a drop. He's that smooth. And now Jeff Jones will kick to Notre Dame. That's Ron Dreshne who carried the ball. There is a fumble. Let's see who recovered it. The referee is very emphatic. Denny Allen to the near side along with Seymour from the 24. And there's Hanratty being rushed and hit hard. Second and eight now from the 26. Out in the flat. 
to Gladjo. It is a trap ball on a third and eight. And ready. And he is brought down by the Purdue defense, Bob Unesca, 58. Three. Jim Arietta will punt for Notre Dame, left footed. It's coming back here. That's Tim Foley looking at it, number 43. There's Seymour, 85. So it's dead at the 46. Is raging on, and you'll see them all again this year on ABC. And there is Leroy getting into Notre Dame territory. Second and six from the 49 of Notre Dame. This is Kirkpatrick. Phipps blocking, but sees the clip, calls it properly. So it'll be a second down now for Purdue, and the ball comes back to the 38. And Randy Cooper, number 46, come to the near side. There's Phipps getting pass protection. He's got an open field and gets back to the Notre Dame 48. Dillingham to the far side now, and a third down and about five. And Mr. Dillingham is continuing to do it. First and 10 from the 36 now for the Boilermakers. Leroy, a sure tackle, a personal foul. Patrick. Beautiful. Whoops. Leroy Keys to the near side. Mike Phipps is looking. And he finds Jim Kirkpatrick at the 19. This is going to be an effort of 35 yards. It's up and it is short. So Notre Dame takes over following a missed field goal. That's the ball first and 10 at the 20 with 10 minutes, 13 seconds left in the ball game. And Notre Dame has Terry Henready throwing the pass. Or is it? Oh, look out! Allen to the near side along with Seymour. And Zimmerman limping noticeably. Gets a pass in the flat. Now it's a third down and 14. Interception by John O'Reilly from Fort Wayne, Indiana. Now Purdue with the ball at the Notre Dame 31. Mike Phipps giving to Leroy Keyes, blocking for Leroy. Look at this move. Leroy Keyes getting to the 18. Butchker makes the tackle. And there goes the fullback. Curry Williams, touchdown Purdue. Jim Kirkpatrick through the block. And Purdue... Moves 18 yards on a rump for the fullback, co-captain Perry Williams. Two plays following an interception, and this is the third time today following a Notre Dame miscue that Purdue has gone on to score. Kick is up. It is good. The dejected Notre Dame fans will boot it to Notre Dame. 37-14. Bobby Gladjo with the ball at the 15, the 20. Gladjo. Unaska, number 58, and Foley, 43. And now a new quarterback for Notre Dame, sophomore Joe Theisman of South River, New Jersey. From the 40, this is Theisman. Getting two yards. Second and eight. Notre Dame at its own 42. This is Joe Theismann, number seven. Completing to Denny Allen. Second down and 14. Hanratty at the controls. Linebacker to make it a 4 3. Third and seven. Seymour going out. Henry looking. His receivers are covered. Now he spots one. And it's Gledjo. Fourth and seven. Jim Weingardner as Dreshney is the fullback. 
interception. The third interception of Terry Hanratty today, and this one picked off by junior Don Webster. Now has the ball once more, first and 10 from the 21. And in the lineup, Mike Engelbrecht, who now has a second down and six at its own 25. Mike Phipps giving to Bullock. And Bullock gets his baptism of fire, and look at that. A fumble. Notre Dame has come up with a football and a fumble recovery, and on the very first play, you saw Henretti trying to hit Jim Seymour. 5-11 left, plenty of time with the explosive Notre Dame offense. Here's Henretti. And he throws one. And what a catch by Bob Gledjo. People, and as he was turning and bounced, he dropped the ball. Henretti handing off to Gladjo, built on a second down and eight. On the 10-yard line of Purdue. Hanratty. Third and six, Hanratty. Out goes Allen. He may get in. Touchdown, Denny Allen of Astabula, Ohio. Number 22 on an eight-yard pass. Hanratty to Allen. And makes the score 37 to 20. And now they go for two points. Henretti. And Denny Allen, who caught the touchdown pass, adds two more. Henretti with great timing, making the score now 37 to 22. 15 points, two touchdowns, and two successful extra point tries for two and this thing is not over yet it's gone 10 yards and look out Notre Dame may have recovered the football belongs to Notre Dame they score with dramatic suddenness there is Hanratty flips one to glad you look at the blockers ahead of him and there he goes. Out of bounds. As we look at Hanratty, Seymour is split to the near side. Incomplete. Let's see. This is a formation that's quite unique. And Seymour to the far side. In the flat, all alone is Gladju, and he is forced out of bounds at the 22. This traditional battle. And ready on fourth down. Missed, oh, beautifully blocked here, and here's a pass way out of the end zone. Today, 16 of 25, 193 yards. I've gone happy, and I'm sure that's what happened to Purdue. They stopped Notre Dame, where had they? Kirk Patrick and Williams, this is Williams. 75, Bob Kuchenberg, 245. Keyes is in tight along with Williams. There is Keyes. And a couple of more steps. Keyes and Williams, the setbacks behind Mike Phipps. Here is Keyes again. Loose ball. And what a heads up play. Third and 13 now for Purdue. To Leroy Keyes. And can he play football? Have Joe Feisman deep. Feisman looking at it. Bob Gladio has it at the 32. Makes a nice move. Look at this. He may make it. Beautiful loose move. And look at that battle. What a play as Purdue comes up with a fumble. That play by the Purdue man, number 21, was sensational. He's to the near side. Dick Keepert is the quarterback, and that's what he does. Start for their fine pickup of this game is Keepert on a keeper with about eight seconds to go. Also, pats on the back to our longtime spotter, Bill Friel, Norristown. Jerry Capstein and Ben Gates of Columbia City. Once again, the final score, Purdue 37.
Notre Dame 22. And now this is Chris Shankle along with Bud Wilkinson saying so long from Notre Dame Stadium in South Bend, Indiana. <laughs>